Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Airborn Kingdom where in the previous episode we were once again trying to ally with other kingdoms and we managed to successfully do that which means now if we check the tapestry out we have four allies completed which means that one third of it is now all done which is excellent. It means we can then go on to another part of the map which if we look on the main player field here I'm going to guess is over there. We can see this is a very sort of high up... Um, bit of map and we can see all of the maps sort of curling around there which is, I'm guessing is part of the edge same as the one over there as well either way that's probably something for later on I want to unpause it here and crack on and go over to explore an area over this direction the northwest and then go over to also the southwest as well because there's areas which we just haven't searched so we'll do that in terms of resources we are doing quite well we have good storage for pretty much everything across the board there you can see it says food storage is full. We also have a small settlement here which uh, people are excited to join. I will recruit them even though we don't actually have any space for them. We do need as a priority really to get uh, to get some more housing but I'm finishing the research and then I'll make it so that these are a lot taller, these houses. So yeah, we are obviously going to expand or have a look over here just to see what we can find in terms of relics and then we'll go ahead and look back here and then go to that city, get the last research and then explore Law. In terms of populace, we have 60 people out of a total of 56, and we actually have some people idle. So what I'm going to do is go to building here, over to the academy, and I'm going to rotate that round. Oh, looks like I'm going to have to place uh, some pathways first, like so, and then across like that as well. I know there's been a lot of requests to rotate these around, but I think I'll have these two with the... Um, dishes pointing that way to uh, in this in this case here pointing to the right whereas this the ones at the front will point uh, to the left there so over to building academy and then there we go it means now we have all of the uh, we have all of these sides covered there so that has been explored which is good there is our sale upgrade completed which is increasing the propulsion by 25 percent we're going to open up the research tree go over to basics and then we want to go for housing stacks up to three stories completed in 11 hours but that may actually be it might it may actually be a little bit quicker considering that we are able to hopefully get that oh actually will it yeah that one's now built at the front so I'm hoping that that has um, basically made it so we are getting all of the research done from that let's have a quick look in our workers there we have 20 researchers in the academic so yeah that's uh, pretty good um, we are getting a decent amount there it's the thing we've got the most jobs I think applied to it. Actually the sales might be quite good. Oh yeah, 16 on sales as well. So yeah, it's uh, not too bad at all. Anyway, we will send some people down from where have we got people going to at the moment. Sadly, we've got uh, a couple of people on Oasis, which I'm going to change off to find something in that ruin. We've also got something at the back there, which looks to be another settlement, I think, but we shall... Have a look in a moment. Yes, yeah, small settlement. So again, there's people who are wanting to join, excited to join, we should say. And there we go. We've now got them here. And now that we've done that, we are going to head over to over to there. Because if I right click and then check the map, we can see that on the map there is nothing noted on the map, which means that we've not been there. So there's a reason to explore. We now have a total of 23 relics and people are satisfied. The uh, people obviously don't have a home, which is a shame, and we will resolve that as soon as this research is completed. That is the goal there. I'm not going to send anyone to work and gather wood. There's no point there. Same for... Actually, we could probably send some people to gather coal if we are in range there because we're on 56 of 60. We are using... Oh, I think we just went out of range there, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, um, we are managing to get a lot of resources, and the storage, I think, is most important as well. We're going for a very tall build, so a lot of research. That is the overall goal here. I know that people have mentioned in previous um, episodes about exploring and getting... Uh, things like, well, more specifically, getting things like the Tranquil Gardens is apparently a really, really good one. So I'm hoping to find a lot of those items, but I don't actually know where they'll be. So the fun is in finding out, and if we have to come back here, then obviously we can do that. I am going to go through this area, which we can see is now opened up, which is good. On the right, you can see it's all curling there, so there's nothing over in that direction for us. And over here, I believe if I right-click, yes, we've already... We've already 
um, explored that, so yeah, that's fine. Some inhabitants don't have homes. Yes, we are aware of that. There's nothing much I can do about it. Uh, do we have people idle? We have we have 10 people idle, but we've got 14 planes, so it's imperative that we don't send everybody immediately to uh, yeah look at like other things and basically make so we can't gather resources. There's something down here which is of interest. Ah, Library of Intelligence. We come across a large set of stone steps leading into an arcade wrought with cliff face. Yeah, uh, wrought the cliff face, actually, I should say. Immediately we recognize it as the Lost Libraries. Excellent, so we return home. So there is one of those complete, which is excellent, and there's also an Eternal Forge, which is going to give them some alloys as well. So this little explorer has granted us part of the Great Library. I'm going to assume, perhaps wrongly, that each one of these you get from like this area and then the one up here I think or wherever the other one happens to be so each each part of the tapestry like this region this region and this region they'll have one of those items in it I haven't found the nomads aura yet which is it's not concerning but it's uh, curious that we haven't found it yet but not uh, a huge problem not a huge problem I uh, I was going to build another kiln but I don't really think we need it quite frankly I want to see of the opinion at this stage anyway that having just one of each is sufficient um building more i mean we've only got one glass works and we've only got one kiln but you know i think that's what we'll stick with for now obviously we can change that in the future if we uh, wanted so i'm going to go back to the cantis crossing and then have a look around on the left i'm going to assume that there's nothing around this area i'm sort of having spinning the map around i can't see anything over there. No, I'm not seeing anything over there at all. Obviously, you need to keep an eye on down the bottom because we do have things like these relic ruins here. But it's good that we found another one of, the, well, at least one part of that library, which is good. So happy with that. Can't really, we should really have a proper little look at it, shouldn't we? Sort of a little scroll down. Obviously, it's in the, uh, it's in the dark, so we can't really see much. But yeah, there it is there. It's, uh, like great steps that go up to it, right? So that's what that one looks like. It does actually tell us what the other one will be. Let's have a quick look. Mm. Three golden spheres. Wait, exactly to mirror the motions of the celestial above. The novice next to a person, they were very hard to spot from the skies. We must look out for them where we travel. Right, so I could have easily passed over them. Very easily passed over them. So, that's a... Uh, a thing. Let me just go to lock camera here to the center and we're gonna go over to color scheme and we now have We can go for a rose color scheme Cool I thought it was gonna be more like Oh, yeah, it is like iridescent. You see it changes colors you spin around. I'm gonna go back to the iron color I, th I prefer that uh, prefer that one Right, so heading towards this Cantis crossing. We'll get any research that we can and then we'll see on the map like where we may have not explored this is like the map edge there so I'm gonna guess that down here I've not explored it is possible it is possible so yeah and sadly people have left the kingdom it's not it's not a big surprise if I'm honest with you obviously we are at this stage not providing the housing that is that is uh, necessary but as soon as we get this next tier we'll be able to have um what was it four eight sixteen over 20 odd housing extended so that's fine over to this crossing then uh, i'm gonna send people to get some more quartz there and let's see technologies wise they have a farm that i can research and that is that is pretty much it that's the only thing that they have uh, researchable for us which is a bit of a shame okay i'm going to like I say, I'm very tempted to head down here. It seems to be down this area where we are missing out. It does mean crossing this entire thing. But that shouldn't be a big problem on max speed. In terms of speed, we are on 58%. So we're not a slow empire by uh, any stretch of the imagination. In terms of resources, obviously we still need to gather all that we can. And we're just about to go over for the housing upgrade, which is now done. So I'll open that research and pause the game for a moment. So we've gone for the housing block stack up to three stories, which is excellent. I want to get probably, I mean, 
Reduction in food and water usage is always good. I don't think I need any planes. Gather rate is good, but I don't think it's strictly necessary. I haven't researched the farm nor the charcoal hut. And obviously there's things in the middle there we haven't got. We have got the warehouse that I can stack up to three stories and we are maxed out on that resource. So maybe we'll look at that. Lift we don't need because we've got maxed out for, well, for efficiency and coal usage. And we haven't got the fan or the wing. Propulsion we've got for one level of extra speed increase. We haven't done the other one. And desires we've gone for the shrine. I think we'll actually go for increase the range of the shrine because then we know where the other ones uh, will need to be situated. Anyway, I will go to building and over to our housing block then and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And obviously that does increase the weight and also shift things. You see it does uh, tilt forward just a, just a slight amount. So we may have to put some uh, forward sort of lift devices, but we'll have to see. I'm, I'm actually heading over here, so... And I'll be passing some settlements as well, so I might be able to get some more people. There we go. There's now... There's all that now completed. You can see that we've got these extra stories on there. That's quite nice. Good, good. Uh, good. Yeah, excellent. Right. So, that settlement is too far. Those will be too far. I don't particularly want to get any more... Any more stone, because we already have some. Wood is the same we're getting automatically. I will get some more quartz, though, and see uh, down here if anyone wants to join. It's unlikely that they do. Uh, oh, no, we can recruit, recruit, and that will do us quite nicely. Excellent. We'll say max out the quartz there, nine people. And you can see we're heading over this way. In terms of food and water, we are doing okay. 58 out of 80 food, 60 out of 80 water, and coal run 45 of 60. So, no dramas, but I still do want to make sure I can fill up that coal uh, as best I can. As best we can. Get some more people on that quartz mine there. Obviously, we are maxed out on storage, so that's potentially a problem. And I've got, I think those stacked to the highest levels. Let me just double check. Check on the map here. Where am I headed to? I'm headed to over there. That's where I want to go to. It says... I, we have been there. I'm pretty confident we have been that location. We've been over there. I'm not seeing anything in this corner. I'm seeing something there. And it says Relic Fountain. So we've definitely been there. But I wanted to double check to see if there's anything further back. Like something seems to be over there actually. Over there. Let me right click on that one. And... Looking on the map, yes, it does seem to be there's something in that corner that I may have perhaps missed. So it's important that we have a look over there. I've checked out this area before, and that's the quartz mine. There was nothing else that I spied over that area. I remember that distinctively because of these, because of the way it's uh, sized and such. So yeah, we'll head over to um, probably that settlement, check that city out, and then go over there. That seems to be, a, I think, a reasonable thing to do. There's some more people picking up our food and water. Coal is down to, for, uh, down to 40, so it is not of huge concern, but I do want to keep an eye on that. Definitely want to keep an eye on that. Obviously, we'll get all of the food that we can as we pass over these small little islands. There is another small settlement. See if there's any migrants. Yeah, there's people that want to join, so two people want to join. The other one does not because we haven't got... Uh, the requisites, but that's no big drama there. Uh, that has been relics found, yes, that's fine. So there's nothing over here that's of great importance. But over there, I would do want to have a look because there's a couple of things that seem to be quite interesting. We'll have a little chat with these because these have food because we fixed their water pump and they also have coal. Relics found there. There's some water. We're already okay, we're okay for water. There's the shrine upgrade, so I will check to see what other things we can go for. That's now maxed out. I've gone for the shrine upgrade because it's a combination of the street lamp and the minaret, so it provides faith and light, and also obviously increased range there as well. We will go for I think, yeah, just food efficiency is is probably the way forward. And we'll also max out on coal as well. Have a little chat with these fields here. And we seek treasures, blueprints. We have a propeller and the water condenser. I'll pick up both as a matter of course. Um, we may have to go elsewhere for some more technology. Like over to one of the last... Like oh, that city there, I think we that's where we came from. That one. Yeah. 
but we'll be heading roughly that direction anyway. So we're going to head over to this new area, which I, I don't think I've actually been to, according to the map. No, that's completely empty. There's nothing there. So we haven't been there yet, so it's important that we check that out. Um, I'll send... I'll probably send some people to the fields when we come back. Um, that's an unknown relic. That looks like the thing I'm looking for, actually. Here is um, more fluorescent ponds. So we've got some more dye. I'll check those out in but a moment. But there's a there's a relic over there, and there's some relics over here. That one is, I think, the one I'm looking for. I'm th I think that is the one we are looking for. We'll find it in a second, though. I should also check out what's the range of these things now. Oh, the range of those is excellent. That's the range of the shrine. Now, the problem is... I wouldn't say the problem, actually, but the shrine itself, when we click on the desires, it says provides faith within radius and also light within illuminating the paths. Inhabitants wish 66% of paths were well lit. Only 51 are currently well lit. So I need some more pathing. And... 51% of inhabitants have faith in the buildings. So we need some another faith... Couple of, couple of faith buildings at the front there, which I did plan on putting in anyway. But it seems to be a bit of a waste to put them where the light would overlap. So we'll have a quick look where the shrines would go. So putting it there would definitely overlap. So ideally you want it... Um, I mean there, ideally. You want a hou one, one housing there. And then you want it here. And that'll provide... Oh, it won't provide light there, though. So, actually, there might be the best case place for it. We have 11 people idle. Each one of these requires five population. That's the problem. It's five each. So, yeah. I think I will... I think I'll be satisfied with what we have now. Right, Golden Sphere. We spot an object glistening in the sunlight and circled by ruins as we approach. Reveals into a smooth round shape. It is the Nomad's Ore, which I thought... That's what it was when we sort of look from this uh, from this distance. Okay, so that means now we've got one of each of the wonder parts from this location. So let's just have a look here, and then we might just pop our just sort of put a foot in the door over this uh, area and see what the new area is like to see what it says. Um, and this will be going into new territory, something I've not uh, been into at all. <sighs> Today's beverage is green tea, by the way. This looks to be uh, one relic, and we'll send that, and then we'll go over this way. Uh, oh, one thing I do want to do as well, check this out, and we have our motifs. We now have... Is that, oh, so that's a spring motif. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that one. I, I like the I like autumn colours that you've got from this wanderer, but we're going to go with the spring. Um, I wonder if any, like, different colours oh, accent that better. Uh, the gold's quite nice. Bronze. Oh, the bronze is nice too, actually. The rose, I think, is... No, it's a bit too extravagant. I mean, it's fabulous, but I don't think I'm going to bother with it. If we have some, like, bright yellow, that'll be really nice. So we have uh, 56 out of 60 coal. Fine. Seven relics... Food and water is... it's fine. It's alright. Food could be a bit better, but it's only 30 under max. And we are now headed into a new area. And I have no idea what this area will contain, what it entails, what... We will see. Prepare for the shallows. We fly deeper into the unknown. The ground of us visibly changes. One of our people has heard rumours of this place and we encourage her to speak of what she knows. She tells us that these are the shallows. Large... Swathes of undrinkable salt water. Ancient kingdoms were built on these parts and they still exist today. Notably, there are fewer coal deposits, so you should make sure to be prepared as we venture forth. Well, we do have 55 out of 60 coal, so that's good. But it means that we'll probably have a little look around here, meet the first city, head over there, and because there's loads of coal, we'll, while we're doing it, we'll research the coal... Um, we'll research the coal storage to give us I think 90 coal in total and that'll that'll probably hopefully serve as well we can see as the game said that the, the uh, ground is changing now and it's all water rather than the uh, as I said a, a previous episode some people call this like the sort of 
tiled. Uh, I, I look as like a sort of a nice quilting, um, but it also looks like a <laughs> your nan's tiles from a Victorian terraced house. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Anyway, having a look over this area, we can see obviously we are on the edge of the map. I'm going to stick to the edge, but that looks to be a city there, so we'll have a little chat with that one first. I'm also going to go over here because we've got uh, Relic Ruin, and we might as well search these while we're here. Once again, mousing over allows us to clear the trees. What's that there? That's an oasis, which has loads of water, which you would expect around here. There's lots of water. Admittedly, oh, there we go. Requires 40% less food per household i'll open that up and go for straight away the other one which is used less water even though quite frankly i think we'll have more than enough water around here let's just uh let's just get them both done let's have a few people go for this clear deposit although there's no real point because i can't get storage um have i maxed out the storage levels i think i have no no we can go warehouse increase the stack size so we'll probably have to do that um although Quite frankly, storage, warehouse. I could just put another warehouse on the back, couldn't I? Let's put another two warehouses on the back. Why not? Pathing will run back there. And there we are. That'll uh, sort us right off for storage. There's some thicket for food. A uh, small settlement there. And as before, we will get some people. I know I'm not reading the names. It's just uh, is what it is. I'm going to pick up some food because we are actually quite... I wouldn't say quite low on food, but food is um, one of our lowest resources at this stage. So, I'll pick up all of that. We can obviously get more food storage if we desire. We've got food storage there, food silo there, and then the water tower either side as well. So, we're just, as you've seen previously, basically being um, quite aggressive in our strip mining of a... <laughs> of a new empire, a new civilization here. Um, let's have a quick chat. This is another kingdom and it looks fairly cool, especially at night with all of those lights. Oh, that looks very pretty. This is the Cora Bay. So, we fly towards a small outcropping of islands ahead of us, curious of the structures we can see in oh, through the mists. On our approach, we begin to hear loud shouting and we brace for the unknown. Yet as we near, we note that the shouts are in fact cries of rejoice. Cheers are emanating among the loud whoops and shrills of laughter. The shallows have been expecting us, and we cannot contain their joy, for they know of the prophecy and that of the airborne kingdom that helps us. So they have a quest. So music fills the air, meant to celebrate our arrival in Cora Bay, but the melody, uh, sadness, echo, uh, sadness echoes. We learn that the Corals nearby finished their masterpiece, the Grand Harp, but they've lost it to the storms. Okay, so they want us to find the Grand Harp, and they also have some technology. A balloon, hemp weaver, and a greenery provides comfort at home, plus one comfort, which offsets less pleasing structures, can be clumped together. Ah, so that'll be, I'm guessing, quite similar to when we have the red thing around the area, where it says, like, this is a problem because of, like, what it's just a negative effect it could be noise pollution whatever um like from the fans but this might offset that either way hemp weaver is something that we don't have at all so i'm going to get that that's a new resource so i'm going to go back here and i will check our map then and it is indicated that we should go right up the north that's where it's telling us to go so looking at our resources i think we'll have enough resources to go up here explore and then come back but realistically I don't think we'll be sticking around for too long. Um, and we certainly won't have a full on explores in this place. I don't think that's I don't think that's going to happen. Because obviously if we run out of coal, then we'll be in a bit of bother. So let's just head down here. Uh, obviously we'll we'll get all of the resources that we possibly can. I'm going to go and search these. Uh, for storage, we're doing all right. I'm going to go to building here and check out our... We do have the... Where is it? The warehouse. There's two more warehouses. Speed will obviously be going down, but that's not a huge problem. And... Apparently... Resources kiln and smelter. Oh, right. We won't have... We've got the technology to research. I keep forgetting about that. That when we get the technology, we don't get it immediately. We just gain the option. And is that the, one of the trees? I think that's the tree. I'm pretty confident that's the tree. Yes. Is the tree of serenity. So that'll be... 
Yes, we've got two of the Tranquil Gardens trees. Oh, that's good. I'm happy with that. This is good. There it is there. I'm guessing one of the options then is you could realistically just go very, very fast to... Why are we not moving? Very, very fast to another location. Uh, the other the other type of location and uh, see if you can get all of the wonders in one go. Like, just build all the wonders. <laughs> that seems to be... I was going to say broken, but I don't mean that. I just, you know, it is what it is. Um, I guess it's just an option you can go for. Let's recruit these fellas. Eh? Job done. Once again, sending out people, having a look. Approaching now this unknown area. There's lots of settlements around. Obviously, the ground itself is very different from, from previous areas. It's a lot more cuboid. What's that there? That's a relic of some kind. Or something. I don't know what that is, but we're going to head towards it. And there's another one. We'll actually go in between then. So it seems to be these are a lot more spread out. That's another internal forge, so we'll get ourselves another type of... Another type of um, metal. This is barge settlers. Barge floats in the middle of the shallows, large enough to house a small settlement. We ask of Cora Bay. Lost their own barge. The settlers admit they do not know the barge origins, but they refuse to give up their new home. When I mention the harp, however, they know what we want. They had taken apart the instrument using its wood and fine strings as tools to hold together the settlement. Ah, okay. Now I figured out what that happened with the harp. They agreed to gather the stray parts for us, understanding the import of our task. The grand harp is broken, but must return the parts to the bay and see what can be salvaged. So, that's pretty good. Alright, let's see if people want to join, which they do. There we are. And that should be a pause then and have a quick check. Uh, yes, we have successfully managed to, to do that. What's that? That's a ruin of some kind over there. Right, I'm I'm not going to get distracted by continuing on this line. I want to go back to the bay sooner rather than later because obviously we've been blasting over this land quite quickly. But I've made a note of not really straying too far because I want to spend our time searching out a particular area. There's a housing block upgraded, which is good. We are going to go over to our um, town centre here and go for a 16-hour research. Which would have been a lot more if uh, we hadn't got, well, four academies on the front there. Yeah, I actually probably put in the other lighting bit, shouldn't I? Uh, I don't think I need to, actually, now that I think about it, because of the of the shrines, but I'll put them in anywhere. People are satisfied. I'm not gonna, not gonna go ahead and build much more in terms of shrines and such. They could go for jubilant, but we're, you know, we're not trying to make the city massive. That's not the objective. So, apparently, we can fix the half with ten wood and two workers. Well, let's do that. That's fairly simple to do. I wonder what this place gives us in terms of. In terms of resources, we're getting four wood from the allies. I wonder what this place gives us. Interesting to uh, find out, isn't it? Either way, we're parked up next to this. We're repairing the Grand Harp. And there's a smelter saying it's missing quartz, so I'm going to head over here. And max that out. Actually, that'll do. Stop the boat. We'll check, actually, as well. Ask for other things while they're repairing that. Uh, blueprints. We've got balloon. Increases. It says, generates lift to keep us aloft. Low, f low cost. No fuel at all. And one worker. And then there's greenery. I'm going to go with the balloon. I think the balloon is probably the one that will be able to offset things more. Is that coal? Oh, there's coal. Yeah. So, it, it did say when we came here that coal was a resource that is not as abundant as where we just came from. So it's important that we uh, get all of the coal that we possibly can. 
There's the Grand Harp, I think, done. So, where's the Grand Harp? There's a couple of harps here. Harp sends the top of its perch. Glorious melody consumes everybody. The corals are now a rhythm of the world. They're ready to become our allies. A few of the workers even join us. They need ten cloth in order to join. Okay. Uh, barter for resources then. Can they... Yes, we can... We can buy cloth. We need ten of it. So I'll sell... I mean... One, two, three water. We'll sell loads of wood. Um, we'll sell loads of bricks. And that, that, that should be it, actually. Ally with the kingdom. It's going to take a couple of minutes to get that sky part done. But I think it's worth it. And then, quite frankly, I'm headed over back to the original position where we came from. To our original... Uh, I don't know what you would call it, but we are going to leave this. We're going to come through this area and then back over to this uh, Mahilla Passage because I'm wanting to get our storage of coal up to the maximum it possibly can be, which means we can then safely travel around here. I mean, to be fair, we probably can safely travel with the... We're on max coal anyway, but I think... You know what? If we are maxed out coal, maybe we'll go to the edge of this part of the map, and then we'll see what we've got to uh, what we've got to tend with. Water and food are down a little bit. There's the sky part. We've now got an ally. There's the harp done. Yep, that's good. We're now allied with Cora Bear. Great. And this supplies with six cotton every day. All right, okay. So we don't currently have the technology. Oh, now we're now known as the Airborne Village. We've yet again grown and now considered a proper village. This size, our population craves true comforts of home. In addition to light, they wish for natural beauty emanate from our own village. Or feel more internal well-being from better remedies of their ailments. Okay. Must construct buildings that provide comfort or health for our people. Not only with the desires that will be truly jubilant. Right, okay. So the kingdoms have things we can research. Let's have a quick chat then. So technology. They have greenery, but we don't have the ability to research it. Because we don't have any relics. Okay, it looks like a relic of some kind over there. So we'll head over that way. And there's also a city there. So I'll tell you what, that's... Not bad at all. We're still on, sadly we're on mediocre there, so we need to light up more pathways, I think. Um, I mean, we can do that now, can't we? Let's just get it done. Shrine and a shrine. Not enough lift. We need more lift buildings, do we? Vertical rotor. I'm going to put it four. Like that. And that will slow our speed down, but that's not a huge issue at this stage. So that should be all of what we require. There's a settlement. Again, we'll get more people here. Now, we can only get one, though, because obviously we haven't got a lot of the things they are desiring. Which is fair enough. There's the lift done. Yeah, that's fine. So desires, shrine. There we go. I'm hoping that most paths will be well lit. Um, I can go for street lamp and put like a street lamp there and there. That's going to light those paths up. We'll put one. I'm still keeping these gaps by the way for if we ever decide to place more buildings in there. It's unlikely at this stage if I'm honest but I'd rather be uh, safe than sorry. Go for pathing here. So I'm actually going to go for pathing to the end, all the way around these, just because we can. And I want to have lighting there and there again, keeping these sections free for when we place other. If we if, if we place other things, um, right? Okay, cool. So we've got some more 
areas over here. Obviously, it's really foggy, so I can hardly see anything. But over on the right, that looks to be another city. So I'm going to search this area out, and then we'll head over to the city. But that's what we'll be doing in the next episode. Not a bad one there. We got more population. People are now satisfied because we are now lighting the paths. This is excellent. Uh, speed is a bit low, but we can increase that if we need to. Overall, quite happy with our progress. So next episode, we'll crack on. And as always, see how we get and see if we can ally in Mother Kingdom. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed the episode and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.